Hi, everybody. This is it. This is a 3D printer. This is a cherry picker. It's giant. Takes big, big, big engines, and there's the dump trailer, so you get size, right? This is a 3D printer by Bjet. Ob, Objet. Tell me about it. It's an Eden 260. No, nothing about it. So lots of research to be done. Here's the inner cabinet. Supposedly works. 3D printer. And uh, how big was the bottom, like the size? What would you say? Like a three by three? Is that a four by four? Two and a half by three. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's all plastic. And how much would you think this weighed, Daddy? Uh, I'm going to say about 500 pounds. Weighs about 500 pounds. Yeah. And sits on itty bitty feet. Look at those feet. Got wheels, got, got feet. Wheels Is it like the big um, wood table saw that comes up on the wheels, or is no, it? This one is a little different. It's got, a little different. Uh, it's got legs you screw down to pick it up. Legs you screw down to pick it up. The, the most in interesting part, see this cabinet right here? And see inside there, that's where you do 3D printing. Yes, mom is very excited about this. This is very, very cool. Is there some kind of plate? Watch your fingers. I'm not going to push. You push. I don't know how to do it right. Where's the data plate that tells you like what this machine is? Is it easy access or you have to start peeling parts? Was it on the underneath of that? No. I so missed it. I completely glossed over it. All right, y'all. So happy. Hi, Sandy Kirk. How are you, honey? This is the data plate on the object model Eden 260 rapid prototyping system. There's a serial number. So we're going to be fooling around with this and figuring out what type of clock sticks we can get away with in this and the wire feed rate and all the fun, fun stuff. That looks brand new. No, ma'am, this is used. These type of situations, um, these type of machines, we have many, many, many. Um, these are on the Mount Juliet CNC workshop. And that's when, when I list them for sale, they go pretty quick. We're keeping this one. So we're pretty excited. This is a um, 3D printer and daddy wants to print the, um, Okay, so the filtration system, whether you're doing aquaponics or you're doing straight nutrients, there's these filter situations where you want to filter out the waste. And the filters are in the systems in general um, are hard to find and the filters are rare. And once you find a company, then the um, how they get it to you changes. So... Um, it's a big problem, and being able to print your own is, but look at this, Sandy Kirk, he's got it on a cherry picker, like an engine cherry picker. We got this a long time ago, um, so this little tiny cherry picker gantry system, check this out. It's got 500 pounds up on it, and it'll hold more. See that hook? pretty crazy and look at the angle it's on I get all kinds of wrapped up in this okay so um yeah and you can make me a gun just kidding I actually have pieces and parts um in here in Tennessee it's legal but I don't know what it is in Pennsylvania and when they carry it across the land the rules so I've just really set them to the side um, but yes, the boys down at the shop, they definitely do that. They make them and they fix them and make new, what are they called? Accessories. And um, yes, so those are definitely can be made with these machines. It's not something we're interested in doing. And I don't know the rules yet. So um, I'm interested to find out because here in Tennessee, it's completely, you can do it. You can build them, make them, use them, whatever. Um, but I don't know what it's like in, in your state and all the states in between because there's rules. And when you cross those state lines and you get in trouble, there is no, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't know. No, it's a big fat fine and they'll come take my house and I'm just not interested. Um, 
not legal. I knew it. I knew it. Every single state is different. Every one of them, because Casper, Wyoming, where I grew up, they have um, their hunting rifles in the back behind their heads in the truck. I mean, everybody does. It's, it's because if you come up on an animal and it's been hit and you want to put it out of its misery, we just do it. It's part of the land. It's part of farming. You just got to have those type of tools but here they turn them into, um, you know, something very different. We hunt, we fish, we put our meat in the freezer. The uh, Tina's going to shut up now before I get in trouble. Probably, Paul probably said, sold his soul. No, ma'am, this is actually, somebody wanted to get rid of this, Miss Sandy Kirk. Somebody said, get this out, this is trash, get out of the way. He's like, okay. And look, look at Daddy's trailer, look at what else he got. So this is a bandsaw. This is the one my Uncle Tom had up at the shop. He brought that back home to me. Um, and then uh, those are giant saw bucks and beautiful. You see that crate right there? And check this out. This is cedar. This is cedar. <laughs> this is a um, pallet that he made for plopping something up, getting them. Um, um, and this is oak. Look at this, Sandy Kirk. That is a three inch we have this available uh, giant is that two plus but look four. this is tina look 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 keep turning right there when we cut yeah. these with the giant sawmill tina wrote oak and now it's just a piece of old you know you use them like shims and uh, but this was cut on a giant giant sawmill and we made big thick pieces but they're huge yeah. And this is a little piece that, you know, had some damage. So now it's a shim. Well, this is what I got. This is those shelves in there. The shelves in there? Yeah. Where you put I, in my pantry? Yes. Yeah, is, is that cedar? No, that's, uh, that's. Different. No, I think that is also. Is that, mm-mm. See how it's. The, yeah, it's different. We cut all kind of stuff. Hickory and all kind of stuff. Yeah. This, I think. Um, but this is, is this cedar? This is, uh, this is what happens when they get left outside no, and they suck a, up the uh, water. This is a, a, a smells good. Creek, this is a creek tree. A creek tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See the big That's tailgate, Miss Sandy. Look, there's two of them. Look at his giant, beautiful dump trailer. I love this thing. There's a pallet. We save those, use them for shims, build them out, and use his pallets again. He brought me these chairs. Like, um, and I said, um, would you pretty please take those to Mark's container? You're going to need somewhere to sit down, right? God love his soul. Okay. And look at all them. Thems are nice. That's all winch and stuff. They're out there moving that property. And big O, see my boy, he keeps everything cleaned up. I love him. And some kind of, I don't know, I think that's gone up to Mark's property too, because he didn't take it off. I think everything that's staying here except that one. That is the craftsman's 14-inch bandsaw, and it's bad to the bone. And he put a big stop switch on it back when I was using it. Put a big stop switch on it for me so I didn't have to fool with the getting inside the cabinet. Let me see if I can show you. He may have already taken it off. This might not even be the right one. You're giving me an education. You love it. I promised I would, um, this is one and a half horsepower, 14 inch bandsaw. And this is not the one he installed the stop switch in. This is a different model. We use these. We I make hand stuff and give it all away. <laughs> I'd give it all away, CD Kurt. We can't pay the mortgage off if I keep giving shit away. Oh, I got to delete this. Oh, that was bad. Bad Tina, bad. Look at his truck though. Ooh, it's sexy. See the job box? That's new. He installed that about, I don't know, a month ago. He loves it. That's a good investment. Those come from, I think, Tractor Supply, Crescent Job Box. He really likes it. He wants to get another one for over there. And this is his truck. And I love him so much. And he has to leave very soon because he has to go fix the damn lighting. Shh, don't tell. Okay. This is the Hijack model. Check out the brand. And this is a really, really good trailer company. Hijack model. And I think it's, um, oh, I want to find a sticker because they're amazing. We got a really good deal right before everything went crazy. That's it. Be Wise. Is that it? Be Wise. Be Wise trailers. They're outside Mount Juliet. 
and they are awesome. Really, really well-made trailers. I'm in love with this thing. He makes, um, he makes his living, you know, with this piece of equipment. And when you buy something, you, you know, basically bleed for it. Uh, it's nice to know that they are really um, in an, an accessory head put on and I love it. Keeps them from getting tickets is this. It's this really nice, like, um, it's um, like a mesh and it's really good and it keeps everything inside, keeps them from losing stuff. And this is what happens to our beautiful wood when daddy gets a hold of, um, this is actually a real shim. So see how it's a triangle at the bottom, really, really thin, it gets bigger, 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 bigger. That keeps you hold your machines down where you can strap it in and everything. He uses them. Yes, Miss Sandy Kirk. I hope you're having an incredible day. Look at that tripod. Check that out. And folks are like, oh, that's in the garbage. And he goes and he, he picks it up. Look at that. That's amazing. Very expensive. And these right here, these are trolleys that he has salvaged from somewhere. I've seen him pull giant logs. And he salvaged it from some kind of indoor uh, trolley system where you move things in your garage and it's from above. Um, incredible. This man, he blows my mind. What is that? That is some type of radiator in that bucket. You see it? Yep. He collects them and reuses them and, and builds squirrel fans in my, um, there's my greenhouse sandy cart. And it's a hot mess. And there's wood I stacked from three years ago. And we haven't, since I got hurt, it sat there and just sat there and sat there. And my bamboo is growing. Look at my spruce. Babies haven't been here in so long. Check out that. Oh, my goodness. Mama Neen put that uh, net on before she passed. That's been, that's been seven years ago. There's daddy on the back of his property. You guys are awesome. Well, you can use it for scrap metal. Yeah, it's full. It's full of wood. It's full of my planting materials. All my nutrients are in there. My hydroponic system's in there. And it's rotting in the backside. The wind, can you see back there all those trees down? I don't know if you can see it, but the wind took the backside of my greenhouse. I got to do something about it. It's going to end up uh, just, you know, melting. Look at him go. God, I love him. Thanks for hanging out with us, Sandy Kirk. I'm going to end this, um, but I thought everybody would want to see that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm in love. We're going to do something with it. We'll figure it out. We're making space, making progress every day. And now it's been six months. Can you believe we've been on doing this stuff for six months now? It's crazy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Well, you can use it for scrap metal. Yes, he has scrap metal piles everywhere, Sandy Kirk. Um, and it's so much fun. It's never a dull day here. We're never got nothing to do. There's never, we don't watch TV. We watch YouTube to help others and keep up with everything that's going on. <laughs> um, but it's lots of fun. There he comes. Look at him. He's covered in dirt. He's been working all day. I love that man. Hey, Paul. Say hi to Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Doing? How you doing? How okay. You can see my hair. It's awful. Yeah. We love y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Yep. And here's the new C. Nope. Nope. Three, three D printer. 3D printer. All right. <laughs> we're gonna hang it up. Gotta make a home for it. We'll let yes. you know about more Sandy Kirk says she loves you too. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you later. Talk to you soon.